So I just finished the Kai Patterson cut of Obi-Wan. And if you're not familiar, basically, this fan um, took the, and I'm estimating here, six hour ish, <laughs> um, six hour long TV show, and cut it down into a two and a half hour movie. And it was available to download on his website, but uh, <laughs> as you can imagine, Disney got to it um, and took it down sometime today, at, or at least the day I, I'm recording this. Um, so that's unfortunate, but luckily I was able to download it before the takedown, so it now lies f rests <laughs> for eternity on a flash drive that I have, which is good. So it's at least preserved. Um, normally, I, and I will still link the website um, just in case there is some sort of re-upload. He said he'll try to get something working. Um, so we'll see. So I'll, I'll link it there just in case. But as for the actual movie itself, it's, it's really good. Um, it's not perfect. Because, obviously, he didn't have access to all the raw footage. It was just, like, all footage downloaded from Disney Plus and then edited himself. Um, so, there are a few bits that are a bit choppy, I guess, for lack of a better word. But, really, it's still, it, it, it still f um, flows really well, considering... It's like less than half of the show's runtime, if we're assuming the show is six hours, which I know is off, but um, he not only just like spliced, it wasn't just a highlight reel though, it, he changed some of the music. So like now, for example, when Obi-Wan fights Vader the second time, um, it's a mixture of Duel, Duel of the Fates, and I don't know why I can't remember the score, but the, um, the music that played in Revenge of the Sith when Anakin fought Obi-Wan, that music, I don't know why I'm blanking on what it's called, but, um, and then there's some other stuff that's kind of spoilery, so if you don't want to hear that, I'd say just click off now. If you do, I'm going to talk about spoilers now. So, um, in that final Obi-Wan versus Vader fight, um, Kai ad edited in some Gwagon dialogue, which was really cool. So, like, I guess now Gwagon's, like, sort of reaching out through the Force. It's, he doesn't, like, materialize as a Force ghost or anything, but he shows up via some dialogue, which is cool. Um, then obviously you see the Force Ghost Qui-Gon later on. But I think the biggest change was Kai completely axed the whole thing where R Reva goes hunting for Luke. Like, he has it so that Reva just dies to Vader in that hangar, which I think it, it definitely... Honestly, it... It flowed better, because when you get to the end, and you have Obi-Wan sort of reconcile with, um, what's his face? Owen. Um, and he does the hello there to Luke. Um, it, it just acts off the first time they encountered in, um, in the very beginning, um, when, you know... Um, Owen's telling Obi-Wan to stay away and stuff. So I think that f flowed pretty good. Um, obviously, it could bring up some issues um, canon-wise if Reva shows up, which I have no doubt that she will. Um, there are rumors that she's getting her own show, and even if that doesn't happen, I wouldn't be shocked if she pops up in something else. But... As of the canon is right now, this was perfect. Um, I loved it. So, 
besides a few minor issues, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. It, it was really good. And if you can get a download, I would recommend it. I think it's only like 12 gigs, so it's nothing crazy like 4K 77. So yeah, thumbs up for me.